Hello, welcome. I'm again calling for Austria to join NATO here in this beautiful mountain resort of um, Alpbach. It's an amazing kind of a, a wonderful moment for me because I'm really a big fan of this beautiful form. Um, and it's also a fantastic opportunity to meet the Austrian establishment, the Austrian political elite, the military establishment. And we just had a debate about uh, how to join NATO. But the Austrian political elite has decided to not discuss it. They try to ignore it. I raised it several times now because it's obviously the big elephant in the room. You know, Austria is not in NATO. Why not? What is wrong with us? Everybody else is in NATO. So we should obviously do that. Yeah? But we have decided not to do it. And we try not even to discuss about it. As well, there is no debate about this uh, topic in the forum. I always try to raise it in the presence of the president of uh, Austria and the president of Slovenia yesterday, also now in this uh, moment. And that's, of course, something we need to discuss. We cannot avoid the issue. Uh, we cannot dodge it. Yeah? Because, of course, there is parliament elections in 2024, European parliament elections. And obviously, then the populists funded by Russia, the FPÖ, have announced they want to make it a referendum about NATO membership. And that's why they're all very afraid that this topic could be coming up in the main topic. But it will be anyhow, because it's simply there. You cannot ignore it and then hope that uh, the FPÖ will uh, not use it. Yeah? It will be there. So it's much better to remove this topic already ahead. And this is my proposal, because I'm always very concrete with proposals. I call the four main parties, the Social Democrats, the Christian Democrats, uh, the Liberals and the Greens, to remove the neutrality on the 26th of October 2024 in the Parliament. Then we can join at the Washington Summit and Kirchner can explode. His head can explode. <laughs> Nobody cares. Yeah? Then he made a big topic, but it's already done. <laughs> and you know, the people will understand it because when you explain it, everybody will understand it. And so that's the much better way. But on a different note, we also discussed about European foreign policy and I said what to do in 2024. And I repeat my package of demands. It is, we need a EU Commissioner of Defense. We need a EU Council of Defense Ministers. Yeah. We need also a budget of half a percentage of the EU GDP to go to the uh, European uh, budget, additionally to the existing 1%, and that half a percent for defense. It's absolutely necessary. We need common EU debts as well uh, to fund uh, the uh, military efforts of remilitarization of Europe and of the victory of, uh, and we need, of Ukraine and on the integration and reconstruction. And obviously we need also more unity. That's, you know already, the Euro for everybody, Schengen for everybody and the NATO for everybody. But what I wanted to say is also uh, to have um, Frontex militarized. And here we need, obviously, to have common airplanes procurements and common uh, naval procurement, common uh, uh, tank procurement in the European Defense Agency. So this should be the two instruments, uh, the European Army on the back door via Frontex and the European Pentagon via Defense Agency funded by the EU budget with uh, half a percentage. And that's so logical and that's what we have to do for strong Europe, for victory of Ukraine. Bye.